Hello and welcome to Astrology and Beyond with myself, Jules Starsinger. Uh, this is a quickie. I just want to remind you that I'm hosting a class at the Coos Bay Public Library tomorrow, Friday, November 15th. This is the postponed one from last week when I my friend passed away and I just couldn't manage it. So here we are tomorrow at four, four to six at the Coos Bay Public Library. We will be looking at the full moon in Taurus conjunct Uranus. All right. Now let me show you what this is going to look like. Okay, we've got the moon in Taurus and Uranus conjunct. All right, you can see that they're 25 degrees. So they're, that's it. They're right on top of each other. Okay, and then of course the ascendant is Taurus and you can see the little horned glyph there. That's the Taurus. Uh, so what we're looking at is these characters. We have the moon is the is the uh, priestess, and then the Uranus is the fool, and the sign Taurus is the hierophant. Now these guys all collect together to discuss what's going to be going on in the world and in our personal experience. The house that this falls in in your chart can make a big difference. If it uh, falls in the first house, then it's going to be personal about your body and your, uh, your, your identity. First house is your identity. If it's in the second house, it's going to be about your money, right? If it's in the third house, it will be about your neighbors and close friends, family. And on we go, fourth house, it will be about the deeper concerns for your safety and comfort in your life, including your home. Uh, in the fifth house, it's going to be about the people that um, admire you and that you perform for. In other words, your children and uh, the creative uh, experiences that you share. In the sixth house, it's going to be about your daily routine, seventh house relationships and partners and business partners as well. And then uh, eighth house is always about other people's money. So it's those relationships that we've created and that we now have to uh, endure. So if it's good or if it's bad, you made your bed, you're lying in it. That's the eighth house. And then the ninth is about our belief systems, our philosophy, uh, going places to discover new and different philosophies. And how do we incorporate those into our minds and hearts? Tenth house is always the, the your reputation in the world. So it's career, but it's reputation. That, that really is the, the crux of it. And then the eleventh house is the uh, associates that go along with that career possibly or not but they are the the groups that you're involved with so it's a social situation and that could be a club or that could be just a wide association of friends and or colleagues yes and then the 12th house of course if it's in there then it's sort of a mysterious thing you have to massage it and sort of peek in and what is it and you have to get introspective so that's how that works all right, and so please join me uh, in Coos Bay if you're here in town. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you soon, shortly, and we will do another live tarology reading, which happened for the first time just the other night, and it was it was fun. We did good. We had a good time, and we actually had a wonderful attendance, considering that it was my very first one. I'm very excited about that. So thank you all for having shown up if you did. And I invite you to join me on the next round. And I will be talking to you soon. Alrighty then.